another beautiful day in East Texas. But today is different. I decided to come after the shop and go full Bob the Builder mode on the four tracks. She's been out of commission for a while. But took a few things, put them back together. And long story short, I got her running. So it's pouring rain, brutally cold, about 75 degrees, 74 with wind chill. No, but actually it is like 20 degrees. It's supposed to snow tonight. So no better time to take the mud and beast out to go play in the rain. Which is what we're doing, if I can get up here. It cranked once, should do it again. Oh my goodness! It has been a minute. I would drive straight into the pond, but I just don't trust her yet. Oh. But now that she's running again, y'all let me know if you want me to make some more videos with this sucker. There are some like off-roading, mudding parks around here that I kind of just learned about. So I could take her to those. Let's see, we got a ditch here. I love ditches. That's probably the lamest ditch ever. Oh! we got here did the old wheelie action Ugh. Be a few more things I want to do with her before I do that. I don't know, y'all let me know. I think we're going in. We're going into the deep stuff. People have been known to get stuck back here, and I'm by myself. I know it gets deep over there. I'm kind of scared though. Shift, you beast. Oh. Alright, we're going through the deep stuff. This is the deepest stuff I know of over here. Oh! Alright. Oh! Whoa! We're under. We are under. trees in fifth gear. I don't even know if this thing has that many gears. Oh, in the world. The 
Tarzan running around here, bringing sticks, hanging from trees. Jump up over the stick. Alright, here's the question though. Can she climb up the dam? Actually, let's run down here. This has no brakes. Uh, this is kind of scary. Oop. All right. Oh, big rip, big rip, big rip. Uh, maybe I'm not as good of a mechanic as I thought. Oh, yeah! Stop by the cabin. Ugh. What's going on? If you haven't been watching, I'm building a log cabin. We're putting the roof on. Probably this weekend, so be ready for that. Oh, what in the world? Is this normal? Can y'all see that? The stick, the dipstick, it's freaking... It's getting after it. Watch this. Oh, goodness. Talk about lucky. If that had happened... Five minutes sooner, we would have been sunk. Well, after three stinking hours of trying to kick over this piece of shiznit, I got nothing. So, I really started to think that we got water in the oil because, and that's the only explanation for it running fine. And I drove it before I started videoing for literally like 45 minutes, no problems. And then, I go through that water and then immediately on my way up the hill dies, starts sputtering a whole bunch, realize the thing is wide open, screw it in and uh, it dies about five minutes later and won't crank. So I'm pretty sure that's what happened. So does this mean I technically sunk it? I'd say so. My motor's freaking ruined. I gotta walk all the way up through the dang woods. Tomorrow. Explain that. So, uh, the four tracks still exist. Did I think I sunk it? It was time to take to the scrapyard? Yes. But it's not. It's alive. Long story short, like y'all know, I got it running, drove it through a freaking ditch, and then, uh, looked down. Realized that this little old son right here was, uh, not, not present. And then it died and wouldn't crank back up. So, I assumed... I drove through a literal pond and my engine was running on water. So I thought the worst, but called the mechanic, Will. He ran down there, worked some magic, kicked it a few times, poured some Mountain Dew in the gas tank, and it runs now. I'm just as confused as y'all are what happened that day and what even is happening right now. But there's nothing wrong with it. So. We won't send her to the scrapyard just yet. My new goal is to take it to its first off-road park. There are like one or two in my area that actually seem to be pretty neat. And I mean, this sucker I think could really do some damage there. So before we sell it, we got a few more little adventures to take her on. But that's the end of this little video. Y'all let me know what you want me to do with this. I mean, it's a very capable machine. I could drive down to the coast and like try to make it across the whole ocean. But to start, we'll probably just take it to one of these mud parks. So hope you enjoyed this. The four tracks lives. There's also a go-kart. Don't ask me anything about that because I don't know. But y'all let me know what you want me to do with that sucker. Like this gosh darn video. Goodbye.